What the hell is going on, y'all? Holy shit here. In this video, we're going to see what Winifred can do on defense. Limit broken. Wizard at slow amount of speed. At 991 attack, 890 defense, 1704 HP. A little low on the defense for a slow amount of hero. Her ability is Madrigal of Mayhem. Spanish. Deals 550% damage to the target. Attack chains through all enemies who are adjacent to any hit enemy and deals minor damage. So the first attack hero will be 550% damage, which is pretty heavy. Everybody else, 275% damage. So minor damage is typically half of the main damage. So that's still not bad. All hit targets are immune to new buffs for five turns. Hit targets get negative 54% attack for five turns. So all these are dispellable. So yeah, make sure you have a cleanser. Bard family supports other family and realms. Bard fam bonus plus five mana gen. So I don't quite fully get that. Uh, so I was looking when I was attacking and I got 5% mana for Winifred, but nobody else showed that 5%. So my guess is uh, you have to have more than one of the Bard family in order for them to maybe share that mana gen to some other families or realms so that's just a guess i haven't seen it yet but that's my take on it so she hits pretty heavy at 550 percent damage so as a wizard that could actually go up quite significantly so kind of keep an eye on that and then the passive is defense ailment reduction which is kind of cool reduces the effect of defense ailments by 50 percent the effect applies to all enemies. So anybody that's attacking, whatever their defense down is, is going to be split in half. And that's only going to apply to her. So that, that's kind of cool. Now let's look at the pros and cons. Pros, definitely heavy, heavy damage. You're looking at somewhere between 1,200 and for the minor damage, five to 600 range. Of course, that's depending on what kind of defense your hero is at. To give you a good example, she ended up hitting Lug at 763 damage, and that's with 80% ability damage protection, extremely high. The negative 54% attack for five turns, definitely clutch. All hit targets are immune to new buffs for five turns. So usually if you have a cleanser, that's still going to be affected for at least one turn these are all dispellable and then of course the bard fan bonus if we can figure out exactly what that entails because if you can get additional mana gen on some of these medium heroes medium mana heroes i mean that's the difference of a tile and then the cons so i prefer my heroes to attack all enemies versus the attack chain through any adjacent enemies if you have a gap somewhere in between there they're they're gonna that chain is gonna stop and you're only gonna hit a couple of targets so I prefer when it says attack all enemies the low defense that's something where you need to really think about having survivability built into your setup do you have a healer do you have somebody that creates defense or both Maybe even somebody that creates a little bit of mana gen. Definitely, definitely, definitely got to keep a survivability type setup if you're going to have a slow mana hero in your setup. So overall, she's kind of cool, but not exactly what I'm looking for. I'd give her a solid B plus on offense just because she hits hard as hell. The fact is you're going to wait a long time in order for her to pop off. So unless you have somebody that's going to really act fast, protect her, or add a little bit of mana gen, she's going to be difficult to use on a regular basis. One thing is for sure, if you end up having her go off, you probably won that match. As far as defense goes, a little bit lower of a rating, B-, minus. would have scored her a little bit higher if some of these bullets of her ability were indispellable. Now, her being at slow mana gen, you need some things to stick, right? Because if you could just cleanse it all, or dispel it all, rather, 
she's almost just to the point where you can only depend on her attack. Uh, even if it's just one of these bullets, whether it's the negative 54% attack or the targets are immune to new buffs, just need something to stick. So the B minus due to the slow monogen, nothing's you know indispellable. You need something like that that really you know makes people shiver when they're going against a hero. So overall, like the character. Uh, me personally, I probably wouldn't use the tonics to up her. I think there's a lot of other heroes that I'd rather up that's a little bit faster. Don't get me wrong, her abilities definitely check all the boxes there. The slow monogen just is one of those things that kind of does it for me. If she had a thousand defense now, it'd be a different story. So, thousand defense... You know, 1,020, something where I know there's a good chance that she could go off. So, there it is. There you have it. Appreciate y'all sticking around. If you like this kind of content, I appreciate it. If you hit the subscribe button, smash that like button. Helps us creators continue to make content for y'all viewers. So, anyway, hope you had a good one. Enjoy your weekend. I catch you on the next one. Later, y'all.